Now at first I really didn't even realize that it was something that shouldn't be happening. I thought that there was something wrong with me. It's my fault. Maybe I did something wrong. I'm being punished. Dove House was my glimmer of hope. That's what they were to me. From the time she was six years old, Allegra was a victim of sexual abuse. When she decided to tell her story at age 15, Dove House was there for her. Imagine the faces of four girls and six boys. Statistically, one of each will become a victim. It is my belief and it is my experience that the most horrific acts that you can imagine being performed on children are done every day in every community. Dove House has provided healing, hope, and a voice for more than 2,500 victims and over 5,000 family members since it began in 2002, bringing together every interested agency in ultimate cooperation to minimize trauma for victims. They were great. <laughs> they were just so encouraging, just, you know, telling me every time I came, we believe you. We support you. No matter what anybody says, you know, we know you're right. We know that this is the truth and, and we're going to help you through it. And it's not your fault. That was the biggest thing for me. It's not your fault. For people like Allegra, coming forward and telling her story was incredibly difficult. Before Dove House, victims would have to tell that story separately to social services, to police, to the district attorney. Dove House provides a comfortable, non-threatening environment where victims interact once with a single interviewer. I can ask questions, DA can ask questions, DSS can ask questions, so it's all done at one time, all questions are done at one time, so the child doesn't have to repeat and uh, tell the story over and over and over again. The Dove House is crucial to the job that we do. Before the Dove House came along, children were re-victimized and re-victimized because they had to constantly tell their story. I don't know if I could have <laughs> told it again and again. I think I might have, I might have not done it if I would have had to. You know, being so young, I'm not sure if I would have been able to. How many victims never come forward? They live in a world of fear, guilt, surrounded by disbelief. Dove House breaks down those barriers. The children oftentimes don't want to leave because they've had such a pleasant experience here. They, this was a place that they felt believed, they felt loved, they felt supported. And unfortunately for many of these kids, that was the first time they felt that. Cases can take years to wind through the courts. Dove House is the one agency that's there from beginning to end, guiding victims and their families through an experience that can be frightening and confusing. And they always laid it out for me and just showed me what, what was going to happen and when, and they even took me to the courthouse and gave me a tour. And it was just, it was real, really helpful. It made me feel very comfortable. And the teamwork between organizations has had a dramatic impact on successful prosecutions from less than 20% before Dove House to 87% currently. All of it happens here at an amazing, purposefully built facility. Its architecture, its function, every detail is designed with the singular goal of reducing the victim's trauma and beginning the long process of healing. Your donations ensure that there is never a charge to Dove House clients while paying off the remaining $159,000 on the mortgage. Most of Dove House's support comes from private donations from individuals and corporations. Thank God for the Dove House. Thank God for people that are willing to contribute to an organization such as this because it really does save the children. It is making a difference. The most chilling question, what if there were no Dove House? At one point I, I was depressed to the point of suicide. So I have no doubt that I would not be here. I have no doubt. Without Dove House, who's there to help? <laughs>